Formula One's return to Hungary will be a furious fight before the sport goes on its traditional summer break. You can now watch full 24-minute episodes of The Inside Line at our official home on unbeaten.com. Formula One's arrival at the Hungara Ring this week will be felt in the team garages, with the Budapest event the fourth race of two double-headers held in five weeks across the month of July. But while relief for the teams is on the horizon, with the hungry round immediately followed by the sport's traditional three-week summer break, including mandatory two-week factory shutdown, The remaining rounds come thick and fast, with nine races in 12 weeks, kicking off with a grueling triple header in Belgium, the Netherlands and Italy, before long haul flyaways through Asia and the Americas. With the season finale in Abu Dhabi scheduled for November 20, the earliest finish in a decade, to avoid a clash with the FIFA World Cup. But there's no time for rest in Budapest, one of the great European cities, with the teams and drivers all desperate to go into the summer break with positive momentum. For the teams, it's about testing and planning any upgrades ahead of the break, given the budget cap in place. So it's not like how much money you've got and how much you can make and how much you can produce. You need to be careful that you manage the development well with your parts you've got and what you can bring. It needs to be good, good bang for the buck before you introduce any change. For the drivers, it's about scoring last-minute points. For serious contract discussions, with seven of the 20 drivers on the grid only signed until the end of the year, while Daniel Ricciardo hopes to not need alternative options. One man assured of his contract is Alpine driver Esteban Ocon, who took his maiden F1 victory in Hungary last year. Yeah, we feel that um, you know we've we've progressed uh, during the season, and we want to keep that going. Uh, of course, with my group of, of engineers, um, with my mechanics, and and everybody, we want to you know keep progressing uh, step by step, and hopefully we can we can keep keep that going like last year. The Frenchman's shot was set up with a wet start when then Mercedes driver Valtteri Bottas ruined races for not just one but both the Red Bulls after he speared into the back of McLaren's Lando Norris. Ocon, however, was chased to the flag by Aston Martin's Sebastian Vettel, who was later disqualified for fuel irregularities. Sir Lewis Hamilton is the most successful in Budapest with eight wins, four more than Michael Schumacher. Senna has three, and six drivers, including Piquet, who scored the first in 1986, have two. Hamilton has long been dominant in Budapest, potentially given its layout as like a go-kart track, favoring his aggressive style. Located just 20 minutes from downtown Budapest, the 4.381 kilometer track features 14 turns, seven left and seven right, and a top speed of 315 kilometers per hour. Hamilton reset the record in 2020 in the W11 Mercedes. There are two DRS activation zones, one on the pit straight and another that follows on to turn two. There is just one DRS detection point at the entrance to turn 14. Can Ferrari claw back on Red Bull's now impressive championship leads in the relentless heat and action of Budapest? Thanks for watching. To stay up to speed on all things Formula One, make sure you hit the subscribe button.